Hi guys, Hacking Gaming here with more Forza Horizon 3. Today we're on part 2 of Road to the RX-7. I've done a majority of the head-to-head -head races. This is the final three I need to do. Um, hopefully they're, they're going to be quick and easy to do. Should be with a Subaru, it is honestly one of the most overpowered vehicles I've made. But, personally I think there's something wrong with the settings because I do have it on quite a hard difficulty, yet it's so easy. But I'll try to uninstall the game, maybe reinstall, maybe that might fix it, but uh, I'd say it's quite easy. But, only need three to do three more head-to-heads, then we've unlocked the first of the four street races. So, once I've finished these, and do the first street race, I'll then cut to the third, or sorry, the last street race, and we'll get that one done. That was an easy win there. Now I'm going to show you a wee trick that I've learnt. If you do a wide donut, if you have space to do so, and then look at your mini map, it should bring up another driver tower. There you go. Just spin it round. First gear. First gear, not reverse. Come on. Part two. Then after this, one more race. 100 meters. Probably quite nice. Why did I drive into the wall? Every time there's a wall, it seems to always hit it. Perfect example. I think we might do a wee bit of cross country in this Subaru. Show how good it really is. Back to the road. Oh, there's an XP board. Should I go back and get it? Nah, I think it'll be good. Just need to get that on the way back. But, as I said, I'm going to do the first race and the last race of the street racing and then we'll go straight to the midnight battle. Should make the content a lot easier to watch instead of having to watch me do 10 head to heads, 4 street races. Just cuts everything down by about half. Plus it makes it a nice easy video to watch in a short time. So now we need the last of the head to heads and then we can do the first street race. I just seen another XP board there. Could have been a fast travel though. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Definitely sounds like I've been up all night. Trying to get this trying to get a, get a few videos done, which is true, but I always enjoy doing it. Good fun. Great hobby. A wee bit more cross country. Don't hit it. I bet you I'm going to hit one tree. There has to be a point where I'm going to hit a tree. Can't be this lucky. And you yeah, just had to figure out which tree I was going to hit, but it was that one. At least this race is close to the end of it. I have enjoyed Forza Horizon 3 throughout the, game, the gameplay I've had. It's very enjoyable. What a way to finish the race! So that's the three head-to-head -head races, which means I've now unlocked the first of the street races. And we have a, a wheel spin. Please be a car, please be a car. Something, or money, car, yes. Perfect. Now we've got a car to make a build out of. I have an idea of building a drift build from it, but I might do something else. Give his name, just gave me a time and a starting line location and told me to give them to you. You're not doing anything illegal, are you, mate? Definitely not. Nothing illegal at all. Just a wee bit of street racing. So, I'll cut the video to when I'm at that street race just to make it a lot easier to watch. So, see you at it. Here we are at the Beachside Blast, finally made it down. I'm going to admit, this race is the worst race I can see in, in the game. This is maybe the ninth or 10th attempt I've had at it. Every time near the end, about 90%, 80-90%, it's... I always get passed by the ultimate that's sitting right in front of me. This time I feel I can push it 
past him. If he tries to pass me, I'm just going to cut him off and ram him. I've been trying to race clean for for the whole race, but I'm starting to give up. That should buy me some time putting him into that. Funny, the objects in this game that are breakable, some that shouldn't be breakable, shatter. Some that should just, they're, they're like, dragged into eight foot of brick. It's just stop you straight away. One. This is the straight where I lose the time. I want to lose the distance between the other racers. A bit too close for comfort. A bit of a hump down here as well, I figured. Always puts me off. I think actually it was that. It wasn't much of a hump, but it's just about where it always puts me off. Bet you he's right up my back again. Yeah, he is. Always comes up my back. At this point it was 70% where I always lose it at. Usually around this corner he passes me every time. And I always take that wide. Oh, come on. Ah there he is trying to pass. Not this time. No. Told you he's going to block him. Not going to happen this time. Oh I nearly got this. Slow down for this one. Always take us too wide and get past here. Oh, that's a hard bit done. Just need to make sure that he doesn't pass me at all. And he's right at my back. We have done it. We have done it. Yes. Taking too long for this race. But now is the next race after this and then another 10 more head to heads so I cut out all that and jump to the last race of the the season as we'll call it and then we'll do the midnight battle here we are final race and as you can see my car has changed to the one that I released on my previous video well I think I released it in the previous video if these have uploaded properly at the same time I uh, uploaded this and recorded this all at the same time so when it changed I made a separate video about the new change but if you haven't seen that video I'll leave a link in the description if you have welcome to uh, the first race of the new GTR we'll have so it's only this one street race to do and then we have the midnight battle to make this clear I am cutting out quite a lot of content between races for example I've had to do an extra 10 head to head races and two other street races this seems to be the normal amount that you need to do in general so just if you're wondering how it works this is more or less a quick insight on how it works as well as me hunting to get my favourite car of the game that I haven't driven yet still haven't done anything with the Civics yet I need to do something with the EK9 Civic but I also have planned on using that Camaro that I won in the wheel spin previously to make the next car for the next set of races so I'll make a video on me preparing and tuning that car for the next set of head to heads and street races but uh, I'm doing, I feel like I'm doing quite well in this race now usually when I'm racing I'm concentrating ve uh, well, there's showing lack of concentration I'm concentrating harder on what to say than my driving and then after a while I'm concentrating on driving this time I'm actually getting it quite well I, well, personally I feel I'm, I'm getting better at commentating over the, the racing but from what I heard it takes time and I think I've just lost this race for myself this is all this concentration the more you think about it the worse you do there's the finish and he is right up my backside he is up my trumpet oh that was way too close 
way too close. But that means we have unlocked the midnight battle. I hope. This is when we find out if the road to the RX-7 has ended. Or if there's another episode to come. And I've been enjoying this series. Yes, it's two videos, but I have enjoyed making this series. But let's see what happens. I'm hoping that I can get another episode out of this, if not another few episodes. Sounds like another one of these midnight races wants a piece of you. What do you reckon? Are you in? It's a bit past my bedtime, but I figured you'd be up for it. What is it? It is a Buick. It is. That means we have another video to come on with our series of Road to the RX-7. And also, you can see there's a barn find there. That ah, there's for another video. We have four in total to find. Turn around when it is safe to I've literally been saving them up. Where is this Buick? See what it looks like. I was really, really hoping it was going to be the RX-7, but I'm happy enough with a Buick. And that looks pretty cool. That is the quickest loading screen I've ever had. I only just pressed the button, that was it. What a, a loading screen. I do like the interior of the GTR, though it is very complex at the same time. But come on, that was the best start I've had in a long time. Though I do feel that the, the GTR is missing the gear when you, you upgrade the gearbox. Could be per uh, just a personal thing but I do need to do a whole tuning setup on it. Oh, I'm not en actually it's a lie that I'm saying I'm not enjoying it but the rain in this game does annoy me slightly because of the whole texture effect on the, the screen. It is off-putting, but at the same time it does bring a wee bit of realism to it if you're on the inside of the car to be hitting the, the windscreen. And the rain itself, it makes the roads like, like feel like ice. Good fun though, especially if you want to slide, but the minute I'm trying to win a, a Regal, a Buick Regal, one. Do you know when you've been racing so well you have a feeling that something's going to go wrong? I have that exact feeling this very moment in time. Everything's just happening too well and it's just going too perfectly to plan. One. If I'm going to mess up it. Make it soon. It's as if I could call that. I meant to do that. We're just gonna say that. Yep, I meant to do that. That's me being skillful. Cough, cough. <laughs> oh, I knew I was gonna mess up at some point, and now look at me. My racing's getting a lot more sloppier. I don't know why, because I. Buick is way behind me. Bet you have time to literally stop, do a few donuts, have a cup of tea, cup of coffee, whatever. Check my engine oil, do a full service, and then I'll still possibly win the race. Yet again, I've got a car that's overpowered for the event. But, I'm happy enough that I'm going to win myself a wee Buick. Still nowhere to be seen. Looks like I'm gonna get this race first try. Come on, finish line just up ahead. A wee top of the wall. There it is, first place. And a Buick. It's quite a nice car. I might make a Fast and Fur Furious replica out of it. From, I think it was the Fast and the Furious, the fourth film in the, the series. Might make a replica of the one they used to take the tankers out with. Nice wee XP bonus there. And there's our new car. 
but I'll admit, this thing looks pretty cool. Into the garage it goes. It does. Sad that I'm gonna lose the whole supercharger like the bonnet effect, but wouldn't take me that long to put the body kit on and make it look like that. And we've leveled up, adding to our wheel spins for the barn finds. As you all know, every barn find video I do, at the end, I'll do wheel spins. And currently, as I said, I do have four barn finds sitting at the minute, and is that five wheel spins sorted? Plus, if I save my points up, I'll get the bonus ones from the skill shop. But, yeah. That's more or less it from me, High Octane Gamer. Hope you've enjoyed the video, and remember to leave a like, and subscribe, and have a good one.